do you want to see something cool? Let's talk about this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Barry Salkis and in this channel we talk about photography and filmmaking. In this video we're going to talk about my issue with my DJI Mini 2. I've had the DJI Mini 2 since a year and a month and along with this drone I bought the DJI Refresh kit with that as well. So in case I was to crash this drone, I get a new one. And sweet thing is that to this day I've actually never crashed this drone. But instead I ran into an issue that kind of annoyed me like I wish I crashed this drone and maybe lost it or something but for this issue that I'm gonna talk about to happen to this drone kind of makes me mad so if you are following this channel you'd know that I was away traveling last month and through my travel journey in Europe I've had a lot of successful flights with this drone in Europe and then I came back home to Canada and I wanted to film something the other day so I was just kind of getting my ND filter ready and I turned the drone on just to see how things are going with the ND filter just to kind of get an idea of exposure then I noticed something check this clip out Yeah, so it kept on doing that. So what was going on was that I would turn on the drone, it would actually calibrate, like, you know, how it looks up, down, left, right, and all that stuff. And then after that, the gimbal completely disconnects from the drone. So you can't calibrate it by hitting calibration, it'll get stuck at 10%, or you can't recenter it or anything like that. So the connection with the gimbal and the drone completely gets lost. So I did research this issue and I was getting a gimbal stuck error on the drone. So I did research further and I saw multiple people saying that this this could be the shock absorbers. What happens is that if the drone takes an impact, these shock absorbers could snap off. So I kind of peeked at these shock absorbers and there was nothing wrong with them. They were still in the same place where they needed to be. So that wasn't the issue. In my trip to Europe last month, my DJI refresh package actually expired. So technically, my refresh package expired within like not even a month right now at this point. But there's nothing I can do. I forgot to refresh it, so it's expired. So knowing this, my next approach was to do some more research and I finally made up my mind to open up the drone to see what's inside just so I get an idea. Not like I'm an engineer or anything, I wouldn't know how this thing works. I just wanted to take a look at it with my own eyes. While looking at the gimbal, I noticed that there was an issue with the cabling. I don't know if this is an issue, I don't know if this is something normal, but this was just a little bit off to me. Like I said, I'm not qualified to judge the cabling or the engineering inside this thing. I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing. It looks like the cable is kind of connected in a weird way. Like this cable, for instance, right here, I've never touched this thing. And it looks like it's about to snap off. Like it looks like it's about to break off. It's bent in a weird way. So then if you look up here, you'll see that this cable has snapped off. So my question is, how could this cable get snapped off without a crash? Really weird to me. So I think there's an issue with the cabling. Right now, obviously, because the cable is snapped off, I'm still stuck in the same position. It The gimbal does not work at all. The drone flies and the camera works, but there is no connection with the gimbal, so there's no way to stabilize this thing. So um, what I've done is I've emailed DJI with all my information, with everything that I could provide them so that they can take a look at that this drone was never crashed and it's just that this particular unit that I have might be faulty who knows so I'm gonna wait to hear back from DJI I will be updating you guys to see what happens regardless I'm not making this video to bash DJI in any way all of my drones have always been from DJI all of my gimbals like I everything I have is mostly from DJI so I like their products I think they're pretty high quality you know through all these years, it's normal to have some issues like this, so I'm just kind of curious to see how DJI will handle this. At this point, I'm kind of curious to see what the DJI Mini 3 will be made of, as if this issue does not get resolved, I'm probably gonna go ahead and buy that as soon as it comes out. Right now, all we have is speculations, and one speculation is that it could come out in April, so we'll wait and see. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna try to get this thing either fixed, but I don't really wanna pay DJI to get this fixed. I'm either gonna sell this as is or hope that DJI will give me a replacement unit and I'll just use that drone. But eventually, depending on what Mini 3 offers, I think I wanna get that. So I have nothing against DJI. I just wanna see where this thing goes. And I'm making this video just to inform you guys. I'm not making this video as a way to 
get at DJI. So I hope you've taken something away from this video. My tip would be if your DJI refresh package expires, um, renew it, my friend. Renew it. Don't be like me. If I renewed that, I would have just sent it back and got another replacement unit. Right now, I don't have warranty anyway. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.